Welcome to Adorama TV. My name is Marcin Lewandowski and in this episode of the Viewfinder we'll look at the phenomenon that is the selfie and look at tips and techniques to make yours stand out in the crowd. There are tens of billions of selfie photographs uploaded just to Google Photos alone each year and most of them are trying to replicate each other and they're more or less the same. This makes them much less exciting. As photographers, or at least as people having an interest in photography, we have the power to do much more than that and present ourselves in a creative way without that much effort really. It's just a matter of the imagination. In this episode, I will give you a few tips and ideas to make a great unique selfie using reflections and shadows for inspiration. So what is a selfie? Uh, according to the Oxford Dictionary, it's a photograph that one has taken of oneself, typically one taken with a smartphone or webcam and shared via social media. Even this description leaves a lot for the imagination. A photograph? This can be practically anything. Some advice on the internet about paying attention to good lighting is one of the reasons we get so many bad selfies. If I could get a dime each time I was given a suggestion to photograph in the middle of a day in full sun because the light will be great for portraits, well, I would be a rich person. Seriously though, a selfie could be so much more. For starters, let's look at a few ideas on how to make a unique and creative one. The first thing I want to talk about is reflections. Not the standard snap in the bathroom five minutes before leaving for an evening with your friends, but something a bit more thoughtful. Look for mannequins or photographs in shop windows to superimpose your reflection. If you keep searching, I bet you can find something funny or graphically interesting. When looking at the shop windows, check for where the sun is in the sky and look at how the mannequins are positioned. Find some that are lit strongly from one direction and go for a more graphical option. If you can find strong features on a display or around your reflection, that's even better. This is just a starting point because so many other things can reflect us. Mirrors are one, but almost any other surface that's polished enough could be potentially used for a selfie. A vintage car wheel hubs, Christmas tree bulbs, knives, sunglasses and puddles after the rain. The main thing is to keep an open mind and forget about the usual selfie we see taken by the millions. I encourage you to make a difference and inspire others to try something new. Reflections are not the only option, however intuitive as it might seem. Looking for a shape can be equally fun and interesting, so why not play with your own shadow? When we were children, this was a ton of fun. Did the world really change so much? Our own shadow can be easily combined with already existing features and superimposed over them in a variety of ways. Create your eyes from features of a surface you cast your shadow on. Add things growing on your head, maybe even combine it with a reflection for an ultra selfie. These are just two very open ideas that can be mastered forever without ever having to take the same photograph. I want to mention a few photographers that are true masters of self-portraits, each in a unique way. It's not a definitive list by any means, but a spark to kickstart your engines. First of all, Lee Friedlander. He has photographed himself for longer than he can probably remember and each of the selfies he publishes is a story in itself. Not in a way that Cindy Sherman's self-portraits are, but all are unique. There is the serene simplicity of Vivian Meyer's self-portraits and crazy works of Yasumasa Morimura. Pick and choose, but most of all, enjoy your creativity. I hope this episode will inspire you to be creative with your selfies. Subscribe to our channel for more and check out the Adorama Learning Center for more tips and tutorials. This was Marcin Lewandowski for Adorama TV. I'll see you next time.